All right, today we're making salad. <laughs> yes, it's a dessert salad. It's a strawberry pretzel salad. It's the classic recipe that you've probably seen at Potlucks for years or your whole life. It's absolutely delicious and you're not gonna wanna miss it. It's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Anytime you give me a dessert and call it salad, I can be like, yay, it's salad I'm, and I'm good. I don't have to eat anything green, right? <laughs> this is a dessert salad. Um, it's a layered dessert with um, jello and strawberries and no baked cheesecake and pretzels. Um, this is a classic summer dessert. Um, I actually never had this until I was, um, right, I wasn't vlogging yet, but I was young and married and we'd gone to a potluck for my uh, street potluck for 4th of July and one of my neighbors brought it and I was like, what is this? And I was like, I don't think I'm gonna like that. That just seems weird with like jello and all that weird stuff on top. And it was <gasps> delicious. So it's the salty, sweet, and the strawberries, so good together. You know you're gonna love it. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. So we're gonna make our jello by just mixing um, strawberry jello with hot water. I'm um, just gonna let that sit on the counter. You don't wanna put it in the refrigerator because you don't want it to like gel yet. We just want it to cool before we add um, it to the strawberries. Then we're gonna make our crust. So the crust is a pretzel crust using crushed pretzels and sugar and melted butter. Oh, I love pretzel crust, it's so good. The crust has two cups of crushed pretzels, which is about five cups of the twists. Mix that with three tablespoons of granulated sugar and three quarters of a cup of melted unsalted butter, and then press it into a nine by 13 pan. Once I have that pressed into the pan, I'm gonna chill that while I make the cheesecake filling. The cheesecake filling is just a no-bake cheesecake. It's super simple with cream cheese and sugar and Cool Whip. Super simple to come together. Be sure not to uh, mix that Cool Whip in too fast or it will like collapse it. Um, just fold it in nicely. Now this recipe is a little involved. There are a lot of parts um, to it. So it is good to do this ahead of time. It actually does need to set and sit. So it's actually great to make it the day before. So it's a great make ahead dish for a potluck. When you're adding the cheesecake mixture to the crust mixture. Make sure you get all Make sure to seal the edge of the cheesecake around the edges of the pan. So this is where you wanna make sure it goes all the way to the edge, because later when we pour that jello on top, you do not want the jello to eke down underneath the cheesecake filling, or it's gonna like kind of invert your recipe. So make sure that that cheesecake is spread all the way to the edges and sealed at the edges. Chill the cheesecake um, until it's nice and set, and then we're gonna add the fruit and the jello. Now you can make this recipe with um, fresh strawberries or frozen. I like using fresh just because we make it in summer, we may as well use fresh berries. But if you don't have fresh, you can let them thaw. Um, just make sure you use frozen. If you're using frozen, just make sure to let them thaw and like drain them really, really well. Um, and buy sliced already. So we're gonna slice our strawberries and then we're gonna sprinkle the strawberries all over the top of that chilled cheesecake and then carefully and slowly pour that jello mixture all over the top evenly. Don't pour it all in one spot, kind of move it around to pour it so that it will evenly distribute um, all over those strawberries. And then you're gonna chill that until the jello is set. It's great to do, that's why it's great to do this the day before. Um, by the next day, it'll be perfectly, all the flavors will be melded, the jello will be set, and it's perfect for serving. To see all those layers are super delicious and easy. This is a great recipe for summer for all of the potlucks. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite recipe to make with strawberries is and keep watching for even more dessert recipes.